All right, so you spent $5,000 on new plugins, UAD, you got the Apollo, you got the Guitar Center credit card charged up, and 50 hours mixing, mastering, producing, recording your own song when you could have just paid like 500 bucks for a professional to get it done. Put your money where your mouth is. Tip of the day. All right, so the big thing, put your money where your mouth is. We've heard this cliche a million times, right? But as artists, for some reason, we want to buy toys. We want to buy plugins. We want to invest because we think it's an investment. The truth is the biggest investment you can make is in people. This took me, I think, oh God, I don't even want to say it, but it's about 15 years to really learn that lesson. Like, I don't want to be making my own content, right? I don't want to be recording my own records or mixing my own records or coloring my own content, my own videos. Just pay someone. I could go learn Adobe Photoshop. I could go learn Illustrator. I could go learn all these things, Premiere, right? And start editing my own videos and all that, right? Or I can make like $17 an hour working at McDonald's, Starbucks, getting tips, you know, and get healthcare, by the way. So every time you spend this time, you think, man, I'm really saving money. I'm really, I'm saving my bucks, right? I'm going to do this myself. I'm going to mix it myself. I'm going to master it myself. You're in a subpar room and you're trying to get everything done yourself. When the truth is you're actually spending more money than you're actually making. You could be working your day job and paying someone to mix that record, right? So a really good example of this is I was talking to Will earlier today and he's like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm making like, what, $25, $35 an hour, like on, on average, right? And I'm sitting here going, okay, I'm going to learn how to mix my own record. And he's like, and I've been working on this record for like, I don't know how many months when I could just be like, yo, I'm going to go work a shift or two and then just pay someone to mix my record for four to $600 and I'm good. And then I can release my record. But instead, I think I have to go through this whole process of learning how to mix and master and it's going to make me better and all this stuff. Now, now that's a good concept and I love the idea of like wanting to learn more about the craft. Like, oh, I want to learn how to record and write songs and mix and master. And I really think a lot of people should learn a little bit about all those things. But if you're an artist or you're a producer and you want to, your main goal is to release records your main goal should not be to also learn how to be a mixing engineer, mastering engineer, recording engineer, studio owner, studio tuner. Um, I don't know, you know, people like going and buying a bunch of gear and stuff, thinking of it as an investment and new computers and all this stuff. When truly the best investment you can make is getting your song done so that you have a product that you can ship out, you can build a fan base, you can rinse and repeat the cycle you can hire someone to help you with the advertising, the marketing and promotion of your song and keep moving forward as an artist and grow as an artist because that's your company, that's your business, right? If my business was being an artist, I would focus on being an artist. I would find ways to hire as many people and delegate as many tasks as possible, as quick as possible. So the number one thing that I learned in business is to quit as fast as possible. And what do I mean by that? I don't want to be the accountant, right? I don't want to be the guy doing my own taxes. I don't want to be the mixing engineer, mastering engineer, recording engineer, studio owner, um, trash taker outer, dog walker. I want to find things that I can quit as fast as possible so I can focus on what the major things are that move my business forward, right? So think about that for your business. That's the tip today. It's like, Start thinking about, I'm an artist, I'm a recording artist. What are my major duties? My major duties are to oversee the songs and get the songs recorded and get the takes that are needed to deliver to my audience to connect with them. That should be it. And get those records out there and connect with more people and build that business and focus on that. So you got to quit all the other tasks. You got to quit wearing the engineering hat. You got to quit wearing the, the arranger. I'm a logic pro expert hat, right? You need to learn how to do some of these things, but quit those things as quick as you can. You're not shooting your own music videos, right? And if you are like, they're probably not that good, right? Unless you're one of those like outliers that are just good at everything. 
But even then, I think it's really important to focus on about half a dozen things that you can do really well to move your career and your music and your business forward and hire more people and give more opportunities to people. That's the point here, right? We're building. And if you really enjoyed this and you're looking to hire off some of this stuff, we do mixing and mastering here. I have to give you the, you know, I got to give you the offer. It's just really important to me um, that I help people with the things that I'm really good at. And I'm really good at mixing and I'm really good at mastering. And I've mixed and mastered Grammy, Oscar, uh, Academy Award um, nominated, uh, platinum records, um, platinum artists. I've, I've, I've done all that stuff with mixing and mastering. So if you need help with that, hit me up, right? I'll, I'll even uh, drop a little link here in the description here in YouTube uh, to give you guys a little link to learn more about our mixing and mastering process here at Radium. And that's it. That's the pitch. And that's the tip of the day almost every day.